Hello there on top of the hour. Many thanks for tuning in to Sports Friday. It's the 19th of April 2019. A good Friday it is. Welcome to Sports Friday. I am joined by Michael who's here. Yes, I am Eddie Ogoy and I'll be joining you throughout the sports news. And we have so much lined up for you from international to sports news, athletics to football. There's just so much in store for you. All right, Dereva Hillary is my name. A very good Friday evening to you. We begin with local stories and we want to talk about football, Kenya Premier League. Yes. And before then, how was your good Friday? Um, actually, technically speaking, mine just started since I'm just about to leave for work. Oh, okay. from work? As in, yes. All right, so after here. Yes, I say it an Yes. Journalist, I'm a doctor, I'm a security. <laughs> Atunanga holidays. Masa All right. <laughs> so, Umar Kasumba's last gasp head of moved so far pack on top of Sport Pesa Premier League table after being held to a 1 1 draw by Karyobangi Sharks. Yes, elsewhere, Paul Wery inspired a resurgent AFC Leopards to a 3 1 victory against Postal Rangers in, in a 3 1 win. And this victory saw Leopards move up to the 10th spot on the log with 30 points, 9 more than 15 placed Rangers. So things are happening to these people. Things are really happening. So far, Paka Wakuju. Wanajaribu. In other news, uh, Gor Mahia has been fined 1.5 million by Confederation African Football CAF for crowd trouble during the continental matches. Now, this fine takes into the club's revenue from CAF and comes at a time where Gormaya have been eliminated from the quarterfinals of the Confederation Cup. Wow. The, five, the half a million fine comes after their fans were three what threw after their fans threw water bottles on the pitch during a match against Algeria Club on same day, which Gormaya won 2 0. And this will cost them to pay another 1 million shillings after fans invaded the pitch during a match against Angolan Club Petro Atletico. Wow. Uh, Richard complained fans were costing the club dearly as they received significantly lower revenues from CAF. Yes, before we move to a different matter, you see the hooliganism for Gormaya fans, it has yeah. costed the club. Yes, and true. like Russia is trying to say, it is costing them dearly. dearly. This because 1.5 could go to the players who last year were saying, Hatulipui. Yeah, true. Now one thing, one, thing, one thing you have to understand, we understand the frustration of the fans considering the, 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 the happenings that have been going on even the referees and all that. Mm -hmm. But true to our word, we have grown as a country, we have grown as a nation and I think this is a, the kind of hooliganism that we are supposed to leave behind. Right. So personally I really don't support this but uh, we'll see yeah. how this will treat the team. Yeah, it's a bad thing and Kenyans, whether you support a certain team and it loses or it wins, you don't have to throw stones or anything to show your displeasure because the club will suffer. Like, he per se, you end up with a fine calf. Not that it's a you who went to throw. Imagine, it's an embarrassment. We shouldn't be doing things. So out of your support, you're actually costing the club way more than you should. Actually, me actually, I feel bad because of that money. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's of a money. lot, it's and it should have money. gone to help these people better their lives, or maybe do something different. Let's move to athletics now, where it was a goal for Kenya as Lawrence Cherono won his debut in Boston Marathon on Monday, beating Lelisa Desa of Ethiopia in a dramatic sprint finish. The two broke from leading pack with some kilometers left to run and kept together to the end. The Kenyan came out on top of clocking two minutes seven, um, uh, two minutes seven seconds and fifty seconds, while this Ethiopian counterpart came in second on two hours seven minutes and fifty nine seconds. Stylish Kenyan Junior continued with its well executive performance on Wednesday at the ongoing African twin, under twenty and under eighteen champions in Abuja, Abidjan, Ivory Coast, winning eight medals at the championships. Mm. All right, now uh, world under 18 and under 20, 1500 meters champion George Manangoy continued with his impressive performance in junior ranks when powered his way to victory to win its third international career, career silverware. Manangoy brothers Elijah Manangoy, the world 1500 meters world champion, took top honors ahead of the comp compatriots Dick Lacia who wins silver in men's under 20 and 1,500 meters finals. End, 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 end. 
All right, so many things are happening in the field here and a sports complex constructed by the Nandi County government in honor of the 2018 BMW marathon record holder Elid Kipchoge is set for completion in October. Yes, How the, awesome. This, this is awesome. This is really good news. But my worry is, uh, will it be finished? Like, okay, you know, such projects in Kenya start but it always takes so longer than we expected. They always give us a deadline, but de the deadline always goes ahead further. But even before we get to that, I want to go back to the uh, Lawrence Cherono win. Mm -hmm. I think that was a very, very good thing. Uh, I'm happy for him. Mm -hmm. It was a hard struggle. And I, I loved the finishing power. He, he just sprang out and it was, it was intense. Mm -hmm. It was really magnificent. But uh, I, I'm, I'm just happy for him. You know, athletics is one of the sports that make our country shine out there. True. And when you see... Uh, a county like Nandi, where most of these athletes come from, True. they have decided to build something for them or in their name. And I'm like, we have so many. What about others? <laughs> Who brought gold in our country, True. made our name out there beautiful, they made our anthem being sung there. True, and now true. this is one individual. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are not trying to worry the thing, but how many, will we, how many complexes will we see being built uh, by the name of the athletes who have won and brought us gold in our country. I, I think it's really not in the, in the, in the spirit of uh, promoting the name. I think it's just showing them that if you become a structure or a figure that we can actually respect, mm -hmm. then a lot will be done in your name. So it's not just about winning the gold, it's not just about winning the medal, it's about creating a legacy that people will respect and want to see live forever. You mm -hmm. become a legend mm -hmm. in your own way by building a stadium on, on your name. Uh, yeah, so uh, in regards to this, Governor Stephen Sang's administration undertook construction of Eliud Kipchoge Sports Complex late last year, where he announced that the complex will be named after the athletic legend. And we have seen it runs in the blood. True. George True. Manangoi and his brother Bravo. Elijah they, they, are really, they are really, they are really, they are really keeping up with the spirit. And it's, I, I think it's really motivating. Mm -hmm. You know, it's something that I think they really wanted to do. But I, I, I love the way athletics has grown. I love what athletics has become in our country. And I love the things that it's doing to us because it has really made us grow. It has really brought some passion. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a time that uh, last, last week we were speaking about our names, the, how... Uh, the Kenyan name has been tarnished by athletics, uh, the, the athletic athletes, yeah, right. by by the, the doping, doping cases. So we just hope by this spirit that we that we have picked up on, we can just continue and continue and make something better out of it. Yeah, but one thing we must agree: it's because of our winning spirit that the people out there are watching Kenya because they want to know what makes them win. True. And it's so unfortunate when they try to investigate, they will find one of us has been doping and this is what we've been saying we need to stop because True. we know we can win without even doping so kenyans and our athletes let's change on that spirit let's stop <laughs> now uh we want to move to a different matter which is champions league now and yeah. a lot happened uh, this week this week this week <laughs> towards the end <laughs> of this week and we want to talk about uh, barcelona bowing uh, making Man United to bow and humbly exit. Wow, I love the way you just framed that question. Yeah, Manchester United humbly exited the Champions League. So uh, the league ran, uh, the Man United Champions League run ended in the quarterfinals as Lionel Messi inspired Barcelona to a crushing victory in the second leg at the Nou Camp. No United player made any real impact on the match that it, that proved how great a rebuild is required under Solskjaer if they are to complete if they are to compete in the Europe elite. All right. That's a fact, fact I mean, but then just like in the last 16, uh -huh. you remember the PSG, yeah. when they stand PSG at the uh, Parc du Princes United started the game first, looked dangerous on the counter-attack and had uh, opportunities and a poor touch from uh, Scott in the area saw so a chance wasted shortly after Rashford's first minute effort, we would have scored. <laughs> of course, he would have. Manchester United boss Ole Gunnar Solskjaer on BT Sports said Lionel Messi is a top quality and he has a different. He was the defense of the course at the two 0 win game over United. How, but, how on earth? How on earth do you go saying another man's team? No, but one thing you have to know, and this this one, I think Hillary, being a Manchester fan, you should take it from your coach. Who All right. you should take it from your coach. Humbly Messi, again. Messi is a top quality player and. Uh, 
despite the lack of respect you offer. I man. knew why <laughs> you're bringing Messi on this. Uh, but but he is a top class player. He has made a difference. He's the top scorer in the European in European in every European sport at the moment. Okay. He has done so much, and this he has done with an injury since Christmas. He has been suffering. Since Christmas, he has had an injury and he's still the top So, are you trying to say, event. were it not for his injury, he, he could have, have done more. worse? Yes, more. Let's use the word Glad more. it never happened. But anyway, speaking of which, what, what do you make Manchester United leaving Champions League at this point? I think at the, minute, at the moment it's the best thing that could have happened to them. They may not see it, but to, to qualify for next season, they need to focus on the Premier League because the race to the top six is the race to the top four is really not easy, mm -hmm. and them being uh, in two trophies and uh, having players in injury, I think the best thing right now would be just to exit the Champions League so that they have the time and the energy to focus on the Premier League so that they can qualify to the Champions League next season. All right. Yes. Okay. That remains to be seen. Let's talk about Indeed. Man City and Man City. So the Manchester were to be get rid. I think that was the most entertaining match this week. Uh, this week, uh, probably people want to differ with me, but as as a person, that was the most entertaining match. Mm -hmm. In less than ten minutes, the game was two one, and mm -hmm. I think that's that's a remarkable way. It's rarely you see Champions League starting that pace in that energy. Tottenham overcame Manchester City in a classic encounter at Etihad Stadium to reach the last four of the Champions League for the first time. Yeah, Spurs were pro protecting a 1-0 lead from the first leg, but an opening 21 minutes of chaotic brilliance saw City lead 3-2 on the night as both teams exchanged goals at will. And this is very sad because Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola expressed his disappointment, saying it was cruel, but it was, uh, that, was that is what it is because they have to accept anyway. And... <sighs> My, my, I've been wondering, yeah. Manchester City, yeah. a team that has been thrashing and embarrassing other teams in True. the EPL, True. They, they had to be punished by the, uh, they were second in the Premier League. You know, when, when I was watching the game, I remember the Swahili, the Swahili quota, they but tried everything, game. they created a lot of chances, they, they, were, they, were, uh, they may not be the, 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 the team that won, but they were the best team in the field. Mm -hmm. They really did so much. And yes, Tottenham really defended. I kudos to them. They, I have to give them that acknowledgement. But, well, the, the goal that was denied would have taken... Personally, I really didn't see the, 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 how the offside applied. But then again, I guess they referred so more than me. But yes, uh, I, I'm proud of what the, the game that Man City brought forward because they really played their best. And mm -hmm. yeah, something in it really happened the way you want it. But, but Pep was one man who was disappointed he at was, the end because he was hoping yeah. he would go against uh, Tottenham. Well, Tottenham, Tottenham manager Mauricio Pochettino was unhappy as well, mm. was a happy man. Mm. He said it was unbelievable the way they finished and was so happy, so proud of his players who were heroes to be there. Yeah, well, and <sighs> no one expected this. Honestly... What? By, okay, for me, I never expected Man City will leave the Champions League at this point. I was seeing them going further. Actually, uh, the, at some point, I thought Manchester City and Manchester United will be in the finals. But anyway, dreams will be dreams. Yeah. Same as Juve, Cristiano is not there. Well, now that the two Manchester teams are out, we are actually saying that uh, Champions League has really taken toll and it's really becoming comfortable to watch. But then it should be, it should be, it should be uh, one of the teams from the... English yeah. playing the other side. Well, at the moment, I, I, me, uh, personally, I, I'm actually happy with the way this, uh, this draw was built because it really created entertaining football. And even as you see, as we go forward, Liverpool is to meet Barcelona mm -hmm. and uh, Tottenham is to, meet, uh, is to meet Ajax. See, they have separated the two English teams, so they have given them the chance to actually both be in the finals. But at the same time, they have actually given an underdog a mm -hmm. chance to actually proceed because if it was Barcelona facing Ajax, people would have said Ajax has really been dealt a, ha a heavy hand. But so you see, th this is a different case, all scenario. <laughs> So uh, Liverpool that. made it uh, after they swept uh, a side portal with a thumping 6-1 aggregate victory to set up a month-watering Champions League semi-finals uh, tie with a Spanish champions Barcelona. Leading 2-0 from the first leg at Anfield, at Anfield, goals from Sadio Mane, Mohamed Salah, Roberto Firmino and Vag Virgil van Dijk underscored and com accomplished a performance by Jurgen Klopp's side. Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp speaking to BT Sports said the team played better this season, while Porto coach Sergio Conciasso 
said Liverpool only had four shots on goal and scored four goals, which <laughs> demonstrates the quality of their team. So you have four chances and you, and them you make goals. them. Should In be fact, what before, be. before the first goal, Liverpool, uh, Liverpool had spent the entire match defending. And then all of a sudden, they just had that one chance and kaboom, it was a goal. It's so sad, it's so sad, but we are happy Liverpool will be there because I, I, I never I, knew Liverpool had fans since 20, 2008 until this season when I saw them now. Well, to be honest, Liverpool was one of, one of the teams that had fans, the most fans after Manchester United. Arsenal only started having fans when Wenger stepped in the podium. This is, we are talking locally, like Kenya. So yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Bad word agenda. Bad word agenda. Liverpool is fans. When you grow up to a, to a streets like California, you will know how, my, how many Liverpool fans are there. Uh, so what's next for this? Tottenham will play Ajax while Barcelona plays Liverpool in the semi-finals. That will be on 30th of April and 1st of May 2019. Uh, Respectively, that would be a mouth watering match, and I'm really looking forward to it because this is one of the Champions League that I have. I must say, I've enjoyed it from the beginning to the end, despite the fact that I wasn't in it. Can we make predictions? Yes, uh, as far as um, this is what I believe. Okay, um, Ajax has been really given a heavy hand to remove Real Madrid and remove uh, Juventus is really not easy. So, me personally, I think and I believe that if they do actually proceed to remove Tottenham, mm -hmm. then they just might be the ones to win it. But then again, that will depend with which team qualifies on the other side because Barcelona is really not a simple team to beat. But uh, Ajax have shown that they have a great spirit and great strength to actually fight a Spanish club. So, let's just see how much strong they are against an English club because this is the first English club they're meeting. So. All right, let's change gears to Europa League now, where <coughs> Yes. Alexander Lacazette first half free kick into the top corner and victory on the night after the host had the better of the early chances. Yes, Arsenal keeper Peter Cech says his side made a very difficult trip to Napoli, looking easy to seal a 3 1 aggregate win and reach the European League last four. And Arsenal have kept nine clean sheets in their past 11 European games, conceding just four goals in that period. Napoli have gone out of the two European competition this season after defeats by Premier League clubs. They exited the Champions League at the group stage after losing 1-0 to Liverpool in December. The Italian side have lost three consecutive European games for the first time since February 2013. You must be very proud Arsenal having beaten uh, Napoli home and away. Well, I am happy. I wasn't really entirely uh, proud of the to, proud of the performance, but I was proud of the results. Mm -hmm. Now I would have I would have hoped for more, but uh, it wasn't an easy game, and uh, most people didn't expect this from Arsenal. And to be honest, people believed that this would be the team to actually make Arsenal exit. Now this is the second time Arsenal is reaching this uh, position where they are right now, and I hope that they will do more than they did last season mm -hmm. when they met Atletico Madrid. So I hope they will proceed to the finals and just take this victory. Personally, I hope it will be a Chelsea Arsenal final. So it uh, might not. It might not. There's a team that you should be afraid of, uh, and that will be coming up <laughs> in a few days. So you will know who you will meet. And for Arsenal, uh, they will host Crystal Palace in the Premier League on Sunday, twenty first. Let's talk about Chelsea. Chelsea, because you 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 want them to be with you. So our director is a Chelsea fan. He says he's given us more time to talk about Chelsea. He's given us more time. <laughs> <laughs> because okay. he's, fe he's feeling like uh, Chelsea will be winning. Well, if you, b you make it to the final, Chelsea and Arsenal. Well, for the most finals that Chelsea and Arsenal have met, Arsenal have had the better hand and they have come out as winners. So that will be very difficult and I I'm really hoping to see what they will do. And this season, Arsenal have really shown Chelsea that they are a strong team and they are capable of beating them. So... Let's just see. But when we think about it, on paper, Chelsea are a strong team because they have a very strong squad. They have a team A and a team B, which is something that Arsenal really lacks. All right. Let's see what made Chelsea qualify to the quarterfinals or semifinals, that is. Yeah. All right. Chelsea were forced to withstand a Slavia Prague fight back before reaching the Europa League semifinals. The Blues also conceded an early second half of their loss to Everton last month, as, they, as well as in the victory against Cardiff on 31st March. While just last weekend, Liverpool hit them with two goals in eight minutes at the start of the second period as they fell to a Premier League defeat at Anfield. 
Chelsea's defender Caesar speaking to BT Sport. He said that it is a mistake they are making very often and this makes them concede early goals in the second half of the games. Chelsea travelled to Germany for the first leg of their last four tie with entrench frankfurt on thursday 2nd of may so a player is admitting their mistakes yeah true they are admitting their mistakes they know they are wrong they know where their faults are but one thing i have to say is chelsea really did uh, put up a, a very 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 entertaining match now um <laughs> most people are saying that chelsea have been handed uh, an easy draw and uh, most of the time this is the first time that they are going to actually face a very difficult club because considering all the teams that have qualified are not an easy team to beat but one thing is most entertaining is um <laughs> I would really love to see how he would play um, the next game right. using the same squad. Because I believe that going forward, he won't be using the second uh, team so much. Mm -hmm. He will still start to rely on the first team so much again. And I know our director will not agree with me, but one thing is he's been really resting the first squad, which has really helped them to actually mm -hmm. make their stake on the Premier League. Mm -hmm. That is why they are where they are in the Premier League. Otherwise, they would be really suffering because Chelsea are really not at the now, best This form. is the opinion of the Chelsea fan who happens to be my director. He's saying they began with Team D. <laughs> they have moved to C to B and then to the finals they it will be, be team A. <laughs> so if Arsenal you happen to meet Chelsea, expect not less than three goals. Well, that's my director's <laughs> word and I will take it right now because I'm sitting on the news desk. But to be honest, I really disagree. <laughs> All right, let's talk about what will happen this weekend. We're moving to the English, English Premier, Premier League uh, fixtures and you want to look at a few things that happened. Yes, true. Manchester City midfielder Fanagino could be fit to start having a played as a substitute against Spurs in midweek on his return from a muscular problem. Alexander Zinchenko, who, was, who has been out with an hamstring injury, will be assessed. So these are team news and Tottenham look likely to be without Musa Sissoko, who was substituted on Wednesday because of a growing problem. And Aurea, Harry Winks and Harry Kane remain out actually due to injury. That, that's really devastating because when you look at Manchester, when you look at the way they have been performing and you, you imagine the players that they will be lacking, it really, it really takes a toll. Mm -hmm. Let's date back to a few uh, times if we could have the head-to-head -head times these people have met and that is Man City. Now one thing I have to one thing I have to admit is Tottenham have really proved to be a difficult team to beat mm -hmm. and they have really, 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 really been performing so well and I, I, I love, I love the way I love the way they've carried themselves, even with all these things going on around. They have really shown some resilience that most people really didn't expect that they would show to this point. Mm. Especially considering the fact that they don't have Hurricane. Mm -hmm. But one thing I really, 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 really love about Tottenham is this. Whenever Hurricane is around, Son does not perform. He does not perform so well. But the minute Hurricane leaves the ground, mm -hmm. Son becomes the man to look at. It started with the Manchester City game before the, the first leg and the second leg here mm -hmm. again showed his, his, his power and prowess. All right, so Manchester City are vying to equal their club record of four consecutive top flights wins against Spurs. Tottenham have lost seven of their last of their past nine visits to the Etihad Stadium in all competition, conceding 27 goals. Their only victory is at the period that came in the league in February 2016. A city streak of nine successive Premier League wins equals the best run by any club this season, and Liverpool won nine in a row during November and December. City streak of successive Premier League wins equals the best run by any club this season. Liverpool won nine in a row during November and December. And Spurs are on, are on a run for a Premier League away defeat in a row, conceding two goals each time. They haven't, they haven't fared worse since a six-match losing streak on the road between March and May 24, uh, May 2004. City have won eight past nine home league matches against the rest of the current top six, including all four six seasons. Wow, beautiful facts here. And Tottenham finally have the second uh, poorest record in league games between the established top six sides this season with seven points, winning twice, drawing once and losing six, six times uh, against Manchester United. Uh, Man, Man, City, Man City have six points against them. I, I think this is one of the most entertaining draws. I, I think Tottenham, Tottenham and Man City are um, the, one of the two best Premier League teams this season. 
-hmm. And as they come, as they come, as they come uh, to this point, they have really, really, really been against each other. And right now, I think they have read each other so well. When you look at the press conferences between the two coaches, mm -hmm. you would see the way they were like um, speaking on playing uh, three matches in less than ten games in right. less than ten days. That's something that's really rare. Mm -hmm. So to to reach this point, I, I think I am, I'm I'm personally really looking forward to this match, this weekend's match, mm -hmm. and seeing how Tottenham per se will perform because I know Man City are coming with the all guns blazing. Do you know? Uh, <laughs> Tottenham playing Man City and knowing what happened in the Champions, True. they are now meeting again. Yeah. And they have to prove a point. True. This is something that remains to be seen. Let's talk about the final uh, big game that will happen this weekend. It's about Manchester United versus Everton. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer says some Manchester United players need a reality check as they bid to recover from a run of five defeats in seven matches. How poor. Well, United were knocked out of the Champions League on Tuesday after a 3-0 defeat to Barcelona at the Camp Nou, while the two defeats to Wolves and Arsenal have seen them exit the FA Cup and slip to, the sixth, slip to sixth in the Premier League. With just five games to the end of the season, Socia also looked ahead to the club's plans for the summer, with United understood to the planning to move a several first team players and appoint a technical director. While he insists he is, he is happy with the plans that United have in place, Socia warned progress could take time, saying, I have been, and I quote, I have been speaking to the club and we know we have to be realistic. Indeed, Manchester United have to be realistic in their matches. I think the players are the problem now. Well, that's it one thing. The coach. True, we can say that. But to be honest, it's really not that easy. As in, it's, it's a big club and they're, they're, there's a big expectation from them. And uh, with the contracts that they have from, uh, from Adidas and uh, the contracts that they have from... Uh, Mm -hmm. Chevrolet, I think there, there's so much expectations on them, and then Socia being a new coach, mm -hmm. it, it just had to, it just had to win eventually at some point, I'd say. Uh, do you know uh, when he was a caretaker? Yeah, he used to perform. Manchester United was coming up, and everyone was afraid of them. But now, having been given the contract, yeah. Manchester United has started going down again. Well, that's one way to look at it, but I, th I don't think that's the entire way to look at it because, to be honest, Manchester United have really, really tried. Mm -hmm. And even when you see the when they, you know. The, 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 the results with Barcelona, they may have shown that they lost, but when you looked at the game, you would have really seen that Manchester United are really a strong club mm -hmm. and they are really trying. Because when you see the Manchester United playing today and the Manchester United that Mourinho had, those are two different teams. So when you look at it, if Solskjaer would have had the team a little bit earlier, maybe we would have been talking a different case right now. All right. So that has happened and I don't know whether things will change. It's time we go home. We will leave you with the fixtures for the KPL. Uh, where Sofa Parker is now on top of the table. Just to and, and, and as a reminder, I just want to say the teams that qualified for the Europa are Arsenal, Chelsea, Enrich, Frankfurt and Valencia. The teams that qualified for the Champions League are Ajax, Barcelona, Tottenham and Liverpool. All right. I hope people have had their years. What you have there now is the... Postal Rangers versus Mount Kenya United. Colinsey <laughs> Stars versus Mother United. Western Steamer versus Bandari. Karyobin Sharks will be playing Tasker FC. Chemel Sugar host Zoo FC. While Vihiga United will be playing Kakamega Homeboys. And finally, Sony Sugar will take on FC Leopard. No, there's something else. KCB takes Sofa Paka. <laughs> <laughs> this right, will be, be happening over the weekend, so... Uh, speed yourself with your team that will be playing this weekend. Many thanks for keeping us company. I am Dereva Hillary. I'll see you on Monday. Take care of yourself this Good Friday. And I am Edio Gove. See you all next week when we bring you more sports. Bye-bye.